Hey, John, Robin, yeah, this was a big jump for Dalton Connect. He wasn't heavily recruited out of high school by some of the bigger schools because of his height. He's six foot six inches now. When he was a sophomore in high school, get this, he was five foot eight inches. By the time he was done with high school, he was about six foot three inches, grew a little more, a little more, and a little more. One thing that never had to change for Dalton Connect was his ability to shoot. And his head coach at Northeastern Junior College, Eddie Trenkel, knew that from the start. Out of high school, one thing was for certain, and that hasn't changed. Dalton Connect can flat out shoot the ball. He's a special player. You know, I tell people all the time, he was a unicorn. You know, you don't get guys like him in junior college very often. His assistant recruited Connect at first. Trenkel saw him mostly on tape. But when Trenkel saw him in person, he was all in. He was better in person than he was on film. Uh, I think I turned to my assistant and I said, if you ever think you're recruiting a guy this good again, like, let's make sure that we sell out and get it done early. Ball said coach Rick Barnes talks about Connect's work ethic a lot. That work ethic was there in junior college. He doesn't leave the gym. I'm sure if he could stay in the gym, he would stay in the gym. You know, if, if they would build him a little room right there, he'd be good with it. <laughs> Trenkel says Connect would seek out to play one on one with then assistant coach Bronson Moten, who was a Juco All-American. Connect learned very quickly how to hold his own against the best. My assistant told me one time, he's like, I don't know if I'm ever going to be him. You know, like he, he, he just, he's got it. Connect went on to become a Juco All-American himself. After two years of playing at that level, he played two years at Northern Colorado and now is a first team All-American with Tennessee. He got his big shot and he hasn't wasted it. Trenkel and Connect still talk frequently. Sometimes his Juco head coach lends some advice. He made a remark one time to me just about like, just the scenario of everything he was kind of going through, you know, with scouts calling him and, and, and coming to watch him all the time. And he didn't want to disappoint him. And I said, you know, you're not going to disappoint anybody if you win and you figure out ways to win. And so that's probably the biggest advice I gave him was, you know, just stay focused and try to go win a national championship. Trenkel is proud of Connect, and he was very proud when he came up clutch sinking those free throws to seal the deal against Texas in the round of 32. I told him the other day when he hit those free throws, it made me it made me tear up. That means the world, you know, to know that a kid you coached is tough enough to step up in that kind of a scenario uh, and, and 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 make his you know and make his presence known, right? Like Vol Nation, Trenkel just wants to see Connect keep going. How awesome would it be to tell everybody, like, hey, I coached that kid and he's playing in a Final Four, you know? <laughs>Trenkel says that he's really challenged Dalton Connect at that earlier age when he was in junior college to become a three-level scorer, not just be a guy who shoots threes. Connect really took that challenge on, and look at him now. He does exactly just that. Got to talk to Connect shortly about it. He said he appreciates all that Trenkel has done for them, uh, done for him. He's just excited to keep on going for Vol Nation <laughs> and his JUCO head coach. Back to you.